Hello guys and welcome to another video. It's a Guardian Tales video and it's arena time. First of all, we're gonna look through the units that I have currently built and how they look right now. Uh, I have finally got all my three stars to four star. I still don't have the exclusive weapon for Tinia, therefore I don't use her in PvP. But I have Vlan and I have um, Marina and Vishu as my main PvP units, even in um, Colosseum. So, I'm gonna look through the, the details here. Uh, Marina might be my best unit just because I got this ring for her, which is really, really good. Unfortunately, I've been option changed it so, so it gets more stats, but it's not really working out very well. And then I have my Lan, which looks very, very nice as well. 18k uh, DPS and pretty decent toughness. And then with some pretty decent toughness and more DPS even, I have my Vishu, which she's really, really good. So these are the units that I'm gonna take into Arena today. Arena is open and we'll do our five fights. First of all, I'm gonna try to keep Marina as positive as I, can, as I possibly can because there's a lot of people that just run around and they play very very cheesy and it's kind of annoying to fight them and not really exciting to watch either. My strategy here is take Lon first because Lon is the most versatile unit that I get. I got because she can really go against anyone and uh, she, if she doesn't beat them, she basically hinders them a lot. For example, if I take a Lon against a Marina, I can more than half HP a Marina just by, you know, duking it down in the middle, right? Uh, and then I take Mar my Marina second just because she, she kind of gets to weed out all the rest of the team and my Vishuvac just in case they go hard into Earth and Vishuvac can just clean that up. So that's basically the strategy. I go into a, I, I start with the base go into water, go into fire. This game in arena it's kind of like a uh, rock paper scissors because the order of your units will kind of dictate if you win or not because if someone picks their first unit as your counter you're basically gonna use it, lose your first unit for free and yeah that's basically how the game works. We're gonna jump into it and see how we can do this. All right let's see first opponent. Here we go Vicon. He starts with a marina goes into a what is that a Marvin? He's gonna go for the attack buffs, so I'm gonna get myself one as well. As you can see, my Marina can with they can they can fight evenly. My Lan can do some pretty good work. I'm gonna lose this one. He gets two attack buffs. I wasn't fast enough with mine, and I, he actually got it first than I. So still, it's a Marina now against a Marina, but my Marina is a lot higher HP. So let's take down the shield. Unfortunately, I gave her the shield. I should have not done that. Now it's time to use Armada, use the anchor, and boom. As you can see, we basically finished off as his Marina was, but now he has no Marina, no Marina anymore. This boy is dangerous sometimes, so I'm gonna kind of be careful. He has one more attack buff than I do. Okay, I'm gonna try to take advantage of the, the miss. He's gonna go for attack buffs. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. His last unit is a earth unit, therefore even if he has attack buff, he still has to go for my Vishuvac, which is uh, pretty, it's gonna be pretty hard for him. All right. All right, we win, even though we lose a lot of HP, but now I get to tickle a little bit on the Bari, and then I go with Vishuvac, so I should be okay here. He's gonna go for full damage now, which is gonna help him a lot. I don't know what kind of game he wants to play. I guess he just wants to play the Tickle game. I guess that's all Bari players, really. All, all Bari players all Bari players like to, to Tickle a lot. They just like run, 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 wait for those skills, and that's all they do, and he's gonna do it again. Okay, this is gonna be a complicated one. Now he's gonna try to get close to me. I can't escape the motherfucker, Jesus Christ. All right, I lost. All right, that's fair enough. Uh, Bari players do play like this. Uh, I shouldn't have let him uh, get the attack buffs, but I couldn't really guess that he had a five star level 66 Bari. Uh, that's way too advantageous, and I couldn't do much about that. So I just played bad, and let's just move on to the next fight. Here we go, last, next arena fight. Now it's gonna be a Marina first fight against Mylan. He's gonna go for attack buffs, I gotta go for it too. He doesn't have Armada, which kinda helps me out, because Armada is very, very good. Okay, if, he, if he's gonna get this, he's gonna lose his Marina. 
Unfortunately, he, he hit the, the knock-up. Hopefully, I hit something here too. I got my heel as well, which is very, very nice. And now he's Marina's dead. All right, so Marina out of the way. Uh, all I got to do is cheap as much of this Barry as I possibly can. But guess what? He's probably going to run, 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 because that's what Barry's do. There you go. Okay, he's going he's gonna to fight. That's good. Come on. There he goes. He waits. That's what all Barry, that's what all Barry's players do. They run, 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 wait for their ability, and then that's that's what they do. I do respect this guy a little bit more, just because he does have, like, pretty low cooldown. Come here. Okay, there you go. Marina, Marina is still OP in the end, but... Okay, now it's going to be the new unit that actually... I forget her name all the time. The Atil Fox Nari. Oh, it's Nari. Okay. I guess you just call it Nari. I don't think this one is very much upgraded. She does have a skin on though. And that's it. That's the second fight. Let's move on into the next one. Here we go, next fight. I used to take Marina in the first fight, but uh, some Tinia has just made me lose my Marina way too early. And uh, But now, now Tinia kind of fell off because of Vishu. Vishuvac is very, very strong against her, so it kind of fell off. All right, very nice team. Actually, I like this team. This should be interesting. Uh, I have the advantageous first round because uh, I am a basic type unit and this person is a light unit. Therefore, I have the advantageous type. I kind of want to go around here and hit this. There you go. It's the second one, but it's dead. I like like I like to invest in my units. Uh, by the way, I didn't tell you guys, but yes, I know mono, mono teams are, are, are stronger. It's just that I, I choose not to use them. See, this is how you're supposed to do it with Bari. Because Bari's strong enough to actually like just go like this, right? But some people just like to pussy out and it's 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 annoying. I might I must have crit. I'm not gonna lie, I must have crit there. The, but he was basically full HP. Alright, now I go against Vishuvac, and that's basically it, because uh, Hey, it's a pretty tanky Vishuvac. Very nice. But now it's Vishuvac against Marina, so there's not much he can do. He can try to duke it out, but the damage he's going to do to me, it's not going to be very great. Because type advantage in this game is kind of huge. And there we go. Another arena match. Let's go into the next one. Here we go, fourth arena match. As you see, teams like this with Tinia first, this would destroy my uh, Marina. And, my, and the Marina is a very important unit to take. As you can see, like it's a very strong unit. So my Marina can instantly die to that. Okay, I'm gonna try to play around. I got the airborne, and that's it. I played very safe. The, uh, Lan and, and uh, Tinia have something really weak. Objects kind of fuck them because they can't really go uh, like towards them, right? I'm gonna go just full damage just to try to do as much as I possibly can to this issue. And I half HP or more actually. That's pretty good. And then it's gonna be Piltis um, next round for for him. So. I'm pretty sure this one is already the GG because uh, Piltis and uh, Vishivak both fire units against Marina. Not very good pick to take. Normally people people would take two Earth units because Marina is very very uh, strong and prevalent, right? She's trying to get her S3, but it still it still I don't think matters much. And that's it. Let's go for our next and last arena battle. And this one actually gets us into gold, I think. Yep, there we go. So this one's going to be in gold. Uh, I'm diamond in Colosseum, but in arena it takes a while because you got to like... You can do 10 fights a day in the two hours they give you, and I don't do it every day. Here we go, last opponent. And it's unfortunately the same guy. Unfortunately had to go against me twice. His senior is pretty strong. I got to give him that. His senior is very strong. I'm going to play around here. He's beating me on this one, but I'll try my best to do as much damage as possible. So now my Marina is going to go against this uh, Tinia, but she's basically dead. But you'll see how much damage she can do to a, to a Marina. It's kind of crazy. There's a little bit of lag on his end, which is also helping him. But as you can see, my Marina, very, very tanky. We really, really high defense, but she can, she can die to this Tinia. 
Yeah, she's almost dead, but it should still be enough. As long as I take on the Vishu, it's still fine. Because Vishu is going to die really fast with this, right? Because Marina has really high defense. And Vishu, not so much. I'm pretty sure this Marina still takes down this uh, Piltis. Just because, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a water unit, especially Marina. It's, it's pretty hard to beat. He's trying to charge up his attack. I cancelled mine, like a really good pro. He missed his attack as well. Let me try to get him this night. There you go. A little bit of an anchor. And I'll even take it like that. Alright, that was the last fight. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. I've been enjoying Garden Tales much. I play it every day. Uh, I waste all my stamina either doing item dungeons or doing uh, hero evolution dungeons. Uh, but now that I've forced out all my units by farming them, because I'm free to play as, as I am in every game, um, it's, yeah, it's going to take a while for the five-star step. It's going to probably take many, many months. So it's something that I'm not going to do for now. I was gonna say hopefully I have some gems in the in the in the in the mail, but I can't really check my mail because it stops my recording. So I think that's gonna be it. Uh, I'm pretty close to, as you can see by by the amount of hearts, I'm pretty close to upgrading this to nine, and that's what I'm doing next. I kind of been slacking on the whole this part of the of the game, right? Uh, let me just do my daily check here. Um, nothing worth buying for me at least, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll be here and in my description for Discord. That's what I mean. Haha, <laughs> Lamau. Let's go.